You know, you can hide photos, videos, documents, and password protect them. You can lock apps and even run two instances of the same app. And all of this can happen on your Samsung phone without installing any third-party app. It's called Samsung Secure Folder and it's not even turned on by default. So let me help you set it up and make it untraceable. Okay, so there are two ways to set it up. First, you could pull down the notification tray and over here, look for Secure Folder. If it's not here, it's all right. Go into your settings, then go into biometrics and security, and then scroll down to where you see secure folder. And then when you click on it, the process is pretty straightforward. You will have to sign in or sign up with a Samsung account, and that would be critical, especially if you lost access to your secure folder in some way. And once it's all done, you're gonna to have to set up how you wish to unlock to get into secure folder. And I suggest that setting up a pin is the safest option, uh, even more so uh, when compared to biometrics. And that's it. That's all you have to do and it's all set up. And now that you've got your Samsung secure folder set up, you can move your photos, videos, and files pretty easily. So select your files in your gallery or in your file manager, tap on more, and then just tap on move to secure folder. That's it. It's going to pick up those files and transfer them to secure folder and they would not be in your regular zone anymore. And if you wish to access them, just go into secure folder. Of course, you're going to have to enter your pin and then go into your gallery and all those photos you moved are right there. And obviously, if you want to move your files out of secure folder, you can do that. You know, just go to where your files are in secure folder, select them, tap on more, move out of secure folder and they would go back to where they were originally. Okay, now let me tell you how you can lock apps using Secure Folder. For example, I want Facebook Messenger to be locked, which right now is here, out in the open for anyone to access if my screen is not locked. So let's go into Secure Folder and you'll see there's no Facebook Messenger application over here as of now. So just tap on this plus icon here and you can install from this list of apps, which will show the apps that are already on your phone. If you did not have an app, you could just download from the Play Store and you get the option right here. But because I do have Facebook Messenger installed outside of Secure Folder, I can see it here, I can tap on it and click on Add. Now do note, once I do this, it installs a fresh copy of Messenger, a duplicate copy of Messenger inside of Secure Folder. I just sign in with my regular credentials and that's it, all my data flows in, I long press on it and I tap on Add to Home and it just adds this secure Facebook Messenger onto my home screen and I can see it right here. And now when I tap on it, it's going to ask me for my pin first before I can open Facebook Messenger and there you go. But what about the previous Facebook Messenger? Well, you don't need that anymore. So just long press it and uninstall it. It's not going to affect the secure Facebook Messenger that you just installed. So don't worry, you can go there and access as usual and yeah just follow the same process to lock any other app on your phone now you can use the same technique to pretty much duplicate apps or run two instances of the same app for example i've got whatsapp running on my personal phone number and now i want to run another whatsapp on another number but on my same phone and it should not be a whatsapp business account i can do that so here's my regular WhatsApp that's running on my, you know, everyday personal phone number. But now I want to add another personal WhatsApp account, but on another phone number on this phone. So I go into secure folder, tap on plus and select WhatsApp. That's it. And as soon as I click on add, it's going to install a fresh copy of WhatsApp in my secure folder. Now, when I open it up, it's going to be as if there was no WhatsApp ever. And I can put in the second phone number here and have another WhatsApp running just like this uh, on the same phone. And just like that, I've got one WhatsApp that's running on my regular phone number and another WhatsApp that's running on another phone number, but on the same phone in my secure folder. Sure, one's password protected and one's not, but that's okay. But if you want to be super private about your private apps in secure folder, I mean, if you want to make them completely undetectable, there are a few things left to do. Change the name of secure folder to something else because other folks who use Samsung would know about it. To do this, once you're inside secure folder, tap on customize and just give it a name that's a little bit more abstract or something that won't 
be suspicious. So system tune, change the color and give it an icon. And that's it, just make it look different in your app drawer. You also might want to cut off any notification that might come to you from secure folder to your regular phone use. That would sort of give away the fact that you have a secure folder. So open secure folder, go into settings and then there's something called as notifications and data. Go into app notifications and here you can manage notifications by each and every app that you've installed in secure folder. Keep it on or off up to you. You can also decide do you want to show content of that notification or not. Next, you might prefer your secure apps to lock themselves immediately as soon as you leave them. But that's not the setting by default. Let me show what I mean. So let's say I open up gallery inside secure folder and then I go all the way out. Now, if I go back into secure folder, it does not ask me for a password. That's because secure folder will only ask you for a password if you've locked your screen at least once. That's the auto lock secure folder setting that you have to change. So just change it to each time I leave the app. And that way, every time you leave the app is going to ask you for a password. So now if I go into secure folder, it'll ask me for a pin. So let's say I enter the pin and I go back out and then I want to go in again. It's going to ask me each time and that's what you want. Okay, that's pretty much it on what Samsung secure folder can do. But there are a few interesting things that you must know. Number one, Samsung secure content can be backed up. So let's say you get yourself a new phone. You've got nothing to worry about. You can back up all of that content on Samsung secure folder. Let's say you're using Samsung backup of any sort or Samsung smart switch. So yeah, back it up and then you can transport all of that to your new phone. Uh, just make sure that your new phone has Samsung secure folder and it's already set up so that, you know, it knows where to go. And lastly, if you've got yourself a more recent Galaxy M series phone or an A series phone, then you've got something called as quick switch or the Alt Z feature. What that does is that with just double tapping the power button, you quickly get into the secure mode of that app. Let me demonstrate. If I want to go into secure folder, I just double tap. It's going to ask me for the pin and there you go. I'm inside here. Let's say I'm on my regular WhatsApp and I want to go into my private WhatsApp. I double tap into the password and I'm into WhatsApp in my secure folder. I want to go back out. I just double tap. That's it. And in fact, if you do want to learn more about this Alt Z feature or the quick switch feature, I've done a video, a full video explaining everything about it. Uh, it'll be on the top left corner in this card here. Make sure you check that out. All right, that's pretty much it, guys. If you think this was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon and mark all. Really goes a long way in supporting the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.